Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 54. Today we're going to dive into adding vendors to your custom agent site. We've spent a lot of time on agent sites for the last several days, and today we're going to talk about how to customize that further by adding vendors that you trust, that you know, that you want to refer business to on your agent site. So we're going to do that by clicking once again on our website's applet here on the left hand side, last icon down. We're going to go to edit agent site and jump back into expert mode, which we've spent some time in. And when we do, we're going to scroll down inside of our agent site list here. We're going to come down to our default pages and we're looking for page about the agent, page about the agent. When we click on that page on the left hand side, we're going to get four options. And during one of the first website videos, we covered these first three. Today, we're going to dive into my preferred vendors. So we're going to click on that drop down. And when we do, you can see that there is some content and then some information. So essentially, vendor lists are powered by MoveEasy. MoveEasy is a third party company, but it helps us sort of curate that list and display it sharp professional looking way so it'll say to set up an account or add or edit vendors please click this link which will take you to move easy we're gonna do that in just a second please note it might take a few seconds to redirect back to your account your title so on your page you can see it says my preferred vendors and that's where this title is now you may want to change that so you may want to say um, you know I could put in here Marty's trusted vendor partners Right, and that's going to update this title down here. And then you can see it's already got a description. So a curated selection of vendors that I trust and recommend for various services. Discover libel that offer exceptional. So you got all that. That's already in there. Um, I'm pretty good with that description, so I'm going to leave that alone. Now you're seeing vendors showing up already down here, and we haven't added any to our actual site. So why is that happening? Well, you have a toggle here that where you can show market center partners. So in this case, our market center has partners that we have that we recommend from a market center level, and we've already added those inside of our market center command. So any agent at our office can turn those on and immediately have a pretty healthy list of vendors to recommend. You can choose, every agent has the right to turn that on or off, so you can choose personally whether you want to have that on or off. You can also even say, hey, I don't want to have vendors show up at all. So you can come in here and say, hey, let's just display, not display vendors at all. You could do that if you wanted to. But we wanna go ahead and add in some additional vendors. So we're gonna come in and it's gonna say, hey, click this link, let's go back to that. We're gonna get taken into Move Easy, and that's where we can start building out that account. So I clicked on the link, it's gonna take a second to redirect. Uh, oh, shoot, this is a, this is a pro coach account, which isn't actually in their system. So let's do this real quick. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go into my personal command and we're going to get it switched over. So give me just one second. All right, guys, sorry about that. Sometimes real life happens and <laughs> we keep rolling. So um, we are now on the move easy page for my personal website. Yours will look similar. It just won't have all of this information down here at the bottom. These have all been added. Um, as trusted vendor partners for both my website and our market center site. So let's say that you want to add a new vendor. You're gonna click on this button here in the top right hand corner and you say add vendor. And then it's basically gonna ask you for some specific information. So we just had a Katie uh, Chamber of Commerce event here at the market center. I got to meet uh, Kyle and Olivia Martin with KTX window cleaning. So we're gonna add them in. So I'm gonna put KTX window cleaning and they do have a website and their website is ktxwindowcleaning.com and the contact name, so I'm gonna put in Kyle and Olivia. I'm sure they would appreciate the business and schedule at ktxwindowcleaning.com and their telephone number go and then we come down to vendor type and there's an entire list a pretty healthy list I haven't checked let's just see if window cleaning sure enough <laughs> window cleaning is on here 
So this is a really healthy list of vendor types. So I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, window cleaning. Uh, then you can put what counties do they serve? And again, another pretty healthy list of counties here. Uh, so I'm just gonna put Fort Bend, which is where the office is located. We've got Harris, and we've got, uh, let's see, let's put in Waller. We're going to cover a few. If I had a logo for them, I could choose to upload their logo. Unfortunately, I don't have their logo right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just select add vendor. And once I do that, I should be taken back to our list of vendors. And then that vendor would be added to our site. So there we go. We're back to our list. We can scroll down here and you can see KTX window cleaning is now on the list. How do I find out if they've been added to my site? I can just go to my actual site, so martymiller.kw.com, and where that shows up is under the About Me section. So if we scroll down in my About Me section, you can start to see all the preferred vendors that I've already added, and if I click on View More, there we go, we have KTX Window Cleaning. Right, so you can see, and right now it just gives KW as the logo, which isn't the best because they're not associated with KW. So I would probably either want to email them and ask them for a logo, contact them some way, uh, get that logo there. But now you can see that people can either visit their website direct, so there we go, KTX Window Cleaning, um, or they can actually ask me personally more, for more information about KTX Window Cleaning. Um, so as a real estate agent, you know, I would definitely recommend on your site, what would consumers expect? So obviously they're going to expect lenders. They're probably going to expect title. I've got insurance on here. We've got home warranty. We've got Relo. Um, and now we've got window cleaners. So I would kind of, you know, take a look at your vendor list that you have right now. If you don't have one, maybe you're a newer agent, remember, Hopefully your market center has set this up. If not, it might be a question for your market center tech trainer or your team leader uh, to sort of dive into and get their market center list set up. But we always wanna be a resource for consumers and we would hope that they would find a list of vendors when on our website. This is also a great way to, um, you know, if you have any sort of relationship with vendors that have helped you in the past, they've, you know, helped you uh, co-host an open house or they, brought cookies to an event you did or whatever. It's just a way of saying thank you and making sure that they're getting business as well. So again, remember that is inside of your KW agent site and whoops, we're on this page. There we go. And we were in the about me section or the page about the agent, the my preferred vendors page. And then we went into move easy by clicking on the link and then quickly added a vendor. You can add vendors, uh, in a full list if you want to. Um, I haven't done it yet, but you can do add multiple vendors and then it'll actually ask you to uh, upload a CSV or you can download a template and put all your information in the template and then upload it all at once. So that is another option. Um, it does take a while from what I understand. So that's why I like to do it just one at a time. It takes a little bit more time, but they show up immediately. So those are your choices on vendors, getting some vendors added to your KW agent site to make it stand out, be a little bit more unique, and hopefully drive reciprocal referrals between you and your vendor partners. As always, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.